Okay, it's like three weeks later. Got the results actually yesterday. The only one it flagged, the only thing it gave you a flag for, does she have the celiac gene? And my favorite one. What are you guys doing? Sorting out colors. Sorting colors, you mean? Not sorting colors. Mm, w colors. Why do you always do that? Mm. People are going to think you have an actual problem speaking. She doesn't, guys. She just does that. Hey, Jasper, are you whining again? Yes, he is. That's all he seems to be able to do lately. Hey, when are we going to get our nails done? Can you please, like, not talk like a baby? When are we gonna get our Let's nails done? Let's try that done? again. When are we gonna get our nails done? Probably not until after Christmas because you can't have your nails painted for the Nutcracker. So that would be a big waste of money for me to take you to the nail salon for your six week chart and have to take it right back off. Yes? So we'll wait till after Christmas, Mommy. the week after Christmas, and we'll go and have a girl's day. Mommy. Woohoo! Paper. Yes, I can. Would you like yellow or pink or purple or blue or green? Um, yellow. Yellow. A yellow paper. A yellow paper. And this is a purple marker. It is? Yep. Does it work? Oh, it is. Yeah. Does it even work? That's, that's the kind of marker that you use like on teacups, isn't it? Yeah. Or fabric? Yeah, no. fabric marker. I don't think that one works. And don't write on my, don't use it on my chair, okay? Can you put it on the floor or the table where that marker hopefully won't damage anything? In fact, if you could switch it for a different one, I would be glad. This marker can work. It's the newest Mommy, Yeah, but it's really up old. Our next, uh, last chart. Yep, you guys finished your last one and starting a new one, huh? Yep. Good job. Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It is Monday, and for us, that means Homeschool Science Day. Um, if you are new to our channel, welcome to my crazy life. I am a homeschooling mother of nine children. Yes, you heard that correctly. And this vlog is all about what happens in our lives. As you can imagine, with nine kids, you never know what you're gonna get. Something crazy is bound to happen. But as for today, the plans are to do Virginia's DNA test. So for her homeschool class this year, we decided we were going to do one of those 23andMe DNA tests. And that's because we're trying to find out if celiac disease runs in our family. And so we are going to be having her spit into the tube today and get that shipped off to the company because they're going to be able to tell us if she has the celiac gene. If she does, then we'll know. We probably need to get everybody tested. If she doesn't, we'll still be scratching our scratching our heads wondering what is up with the rest with the kids in our family and their food allergies. I need to go outside and check on the chickens because guys Last night, we had our very first predator. Yes, a huge owl was trying to get my babies last night. A huge owl. And so I have to go out there and see how they are. Um, I know she got hold of one of the chickens. She got hold of Summer, our black, um, I think it's a black astralorp chicken. And... <sighs> I'm worried about her today. She kind of got into the back of the coop. We couldn't get a hold of her, so I'm gonna go check and see if she's okay this morning and see if any of the other ones didn't make it through the night. I'm really worried. We've been so lucky, you guys. We have 30 chickens back there, and we have been so lucky we haven't lost any to predators before now. So, other than our own dogs, we've lost plenty to our own dogs, but as far as the ones we have right now, we haven't lost any. So wish me luck as I go out there to check on them. I'm really, really worried about them this morning. Like I said, you never know what you're gonna get, but we'll guarantee we'll take you along for the ride. Guys, this is not a good sign. Our beautiful black chicken that was attacked by the owl has not come out to join me this morning. 
I'm afraid what I'm gonna find. Oh, Summer, I hope you're okay. I'm gonna go check in the coop and see how she's doing. I'm hoping she's just... I don't know what I'm hoping. There's lots of birds in there. Apparently the birds like to come in and eat their food. Um, or Chicky, where are you? Let's hope she's laying an egg. Maybe she's really okay. Could she be, she sometimes gets really broody too and sits on the eggs. Maybe she's just over on the nest. I hope so. Summer Chicky, are you over here? <gasps> there you are. <gasps> Hello, baby. Are you okay? <gasps> Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Hello, beautiful. Oh, you poor thing. How are you feeling, huh? Do you have some eggs for me? Hi. Oh, you look okay. A little beat up on the back. Now, what's funny is I think the roosters are getting this one, which is funny because we've never seen them do it, but she's always missing feathers right here. Um, on the top, this might have been picked from the owl. I don't know, like, the owl was getting a hold of her, but darn if she doesn't seem to be okay, huh? She's running away from me. <laughs> She's like, lay me alone, woman, lay me alone. <laughs> well, I've counted and counted my chickens, and one does appear to be missing. I don't see any sign of it getting taken, like feathers or anything. And I don't know if that owl was big enough to carry one off. But all the babies are here, and I'm just not seeing number 20 of the regular chickens. Maybe she's just hiding somewhere, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not counting her out right now because because they disappear. I mean, it's hard. I have 30 chickens, so it's like hard to count them anyway. Maybe I'm just counting wrong. I don't know. Babies like all staying together. These are all the chicks. Look how big they are. They've got their little daddies leading them around. One of them is over there, but they're all like in a group staying together. Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. Best buddies, right Rubes? Best buddies. Okay, so officially we're missing one red chicken. I gotta count the reds one more time just but to see, but I'm pretty sure we're missing one red. What'd you find over here? Another red? It was on the tree before. Now. Oh, she was roosting in the tree? Yeah. There you are, you little bugger. Found them all. So, for future reference, I actually wrote this down this time so I would remember so I could easily count them. We have one black astralorp, one leghorn, one bard rock, one goldie, and I can't remember what those are, golden somethings, can't remember, one full blood golden. Four, is it four or five speckled? I don't know, I wrote it down. Four that we don't know that what they are. They're like a mixed breed. Six Americanas, four reds, and nine of our orange oh, five babies. Reds. Five, five reds. reds, oh, five reds. Yeah, because we found the extra one. Five reds and nine of our golden babies that we raised from chicks that are, they're like half golden and half Rhode Island red. Half golden and half Rhode Island red. Out of those, five are five are girls and four are boys. And then we have our one little frizzle boy. I It'll be a miracle if he survives winter. But he's still alive. I can't even believe it. Chicken butt. So, yeah, we've got them all. They're all here. What a relief. I was really sincerely nervous. Glad to see all the babies here. And I'm hoping that nasty old owl does not come back tonight. Chicken, chickens! We love chickens! It's raining feet! Let's open your beaks! Let's open your beaks and close your eyes! It's raining feet! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> chickens are all fed and happy, so we're gonna head inside, get started on our day!
Let's go inside. You want somebody what? You want to jump on the tramp? Have you seen the amount of poopies on the tramp? You really want to go there? The birds were on there last night and pooped to the heck out. Did she peck your booby? No, she pecked me. She pecked you? Well, how'd you try and pick her up? You gotta grab her by the tail. Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Honey, you gotta grab her by the tail and get a hold of her good before you pick her up. You, She was gonna try and stop you. You can't let her stop you. I thought we were going inside, but then Jasper came out. He's mad and wants to jump on the trampoline. Trampoline's covered in poopy. Look at it, bud. It's really gross. Man, tell you what, I swear he turned three late. This is what three-year-olds do, guys. Big, huge tantrums over nothing. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know you're turning four in four days, right? Three days. Three days, you're going to be a four-year-old. Four-year-olds don't do that. Four-year-olds don't throw fits. Oh, look, Dad's home. Hey. <laughs> they survive? Yes, they're all here. It took me forever to count them. I thought the black one was gone because she wasn't in the coop and she didn't come out when I came out with the food. But we found her over on the nest being all broody again. I was so relieved to see her. She looks fine. Other than she looks like the roosters have been really getting a hold of her, which is weird because they don't. I don't think they're doing that. How? I don't know. Ruby's got her fattest chicken, Goldie. She's got to be like 15 pounds. She's a big old bird. Getting hurt. You're getting hurt? I can't hold her. You can't hold her anymore? She's so fat. Put her down. Oh! Not on her back. Oh, are you okay, honey? Oh, oh, honey. Oh, oh, you poor thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Honey, she can't fly because she's fat. You can't just drop her. You have to gently set her down. Oh, honey. You okay? Oh, are you okay? She's like, get away from me, woman. She waddles because she's so fat. She's gonna be dinner. Yum yum. Okay, Virginia got one of these 23andMe Ancestry DNA kits. You can see it says health and ancestry. So we're not doing it just to find out what our ancestry is because we know, pretty much know uh, uh, most of that. But we're doing it because of the health part of it. Because Virginia has struggled so much with stomach issues and other random things we want to find out if she has a celiac gene and we also want to find out what kind of foods is best for her to eat and a lot of this we can find out by getting this 23andme test done and then sending it to other companies they will tell you what kind of foods are best for you and your body which is awesome so we're going to do an unboxing and tell you guys what's in the 23andme ancestry dna health kit all right so we got to register the kit first this is the website so I'm gonna start that while you're opening it up to 23andme.com start There's a okay that's nice comes with a sticker already that is pretty nice guys I have to save the box. okay I'm trying to decide do I register do I register it for her name or my name uh, my name Maybe there's I'm so confused. Probably her name. Oh, I don't know. I it out. Oh, and there's also like reseals. Like, you can reseal. So don't let that. It says hi, period. Oh, that's cool. There's like a little plastic thing in the box. Right here. I, I don't think this is. Yeah. It's a tiny tube. Ooh. So just has a funnel so I can spit in it easier. <laughs> Ready, set, wait. I think it says you're too young. So I tried to I tried to register it for see if you can see. I tried to register it for Virginia's birthday, but it's telling me that I can't. So well, I guess maybe it's your birthday. I have to make an account for me and like I don't know. I'm so confused. Ready, set, wait. Before you begin, please review this important information. No food or drink for 30 minutes. Oh, no. Did you eat anything? I can't remember. 
I don't think you've eaten anything. I haven't seen you I eat think anything. I drink water. Yeah, you're probably fine. They just don't want food in your mouth. Maybe you go brush your teeth, too. Oh, campus. Why is there a toothbrush and an X on the toothbrush? Okay, so I logged in with my Google account and then it asks if I will be using the kit or someone else will be using the kit. So I put her information. Let's see if it will go. Yay, enter the barcode. Woohoo, here we go. That liquid just looks gross. It's bubbly like spit too. Like when you shake it. It's gross. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. It's just liquid. I don't know. It could be anything. It looks disgusting. Let me see. Okay, shut I haven't, I think I haven't okay, eaten so, or drinking anything for Yeah, I don't minutes. think you have. Okay, typing in the barcode. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Bling. Continue. Hey, that actually took as long as the song in there. <laughs> That's because I made it take. Okay, you, you agree to all this stuff. And I don't. Do we actually read any of this? No, no but we should. And don't I eat. have legal authorization. Yes, I do. Accept. Don't eat, drink, chew gum, brush teeth. Oh, it said don't brush hmm. your teeth. I guess. Don't brush your teeth. Or smoke for 30 minutes. Oh, it says not to brush your teeth? I never did. Oh, it's I a good thing we didn't do it then, huh? I didn't see So don't brush your I teeth or smoke. smoke. Don't eat, don't drink, don't chew gum, brush teeth. You can't smoke. drink anything, not even water? Maybe it's like drink as in wine. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. Or coffee. It probably means they want lots of DNA in your saliva so they don't want it to have been washed down by water. Complete the registration. I'm nervous. Yeah, but but you're nervous because you have to spit in a tube? No, I mean like... Like spit. that will mess it yeah, up? No. Yeah, you have to do it to, to the top of the blue. Bag. Let's do it. So this is the bag you put it in after. Okay. And it has that sort of thing on the outside. Oh. Yeah, when you close it, it will just so pop just that. So right don't close... No, don't close it until after you fill it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to do that? So it's like, you, you, you the collect bottom. the spit in your mouth, like, okay, I'm going to show you. No, stop. Okay, you have a good mouth. And then, do it! <laughs> Can you do Virginia, it? You have She's dying right now. Okay. Beep! Okay, we're going to, we'll come back in a minute when Virginia finishes spitting, because she's too embarrassed to do it in front of you guys. Four hours later. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, she's about to put the solution in, so you just close it up and it should pop a hole right in the plastic and then fill up the tube with the solution. Let's hope it works. Push hard. Yeah, there it goes. Woo, it's full. Once that's in completely, you unscrew that and then screw on the little cap. Ew, it looks weird. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Ew. It like doesn't want to mix with each other. Yeah, that's probably the, well, that's actually the point, I think, because it said it was, what did it say it was? Like stabilizing solution? You have to be careful with this. Yeah, don't let it fall. Because then they will be so messed up. Well, because then we'll have to pay $100 for another kit. That would make me very sad. Oh, that's Jasper, honey, way. honey, honey, stay far away. In the bubble on top. That's okay. What is that? It's, it's DNA. It's DNA. <laughs> We're doing science. <sighs> Make sure that's tight. Yeah. Mostly for Virginia. Okay. Okay, so then you put it into... Look at it. Oh, yeah, it's like swirly. Yeah, see how swirly it is? Mom. Cool. All right, Mom. put it in the little baggie. I remembered I can't touch it. Mom. Yep, good job, Ruby. Come on, buddy. Jasper, you can't touch it. Get away. He's okay. He's. It's done now. It's done. He's okay. We just didn't want him to accidentally spill it. What are you doing? Okay. You're reorganizing the cupboard? The shelves? Wow. You're not getting paid for that, are you? Yep, I am. <laughs> Mommy. 
And I, think, I can't figure out how to get this thing. Oh, yeah, those are weird. I don't even know if I'll remember. Fill my car. Fill my car. Fill your car. Uh, and now you open it open. Fill what kind of car is this? Uh, Charger. Yeah, what kind of car is this one? Uh, remember? Starts with mmm. Mm. Mustang. Mustang. Yeah, he's learning his cars. Now, I peeled off the white thing. Okay, and then you're going to shut the thing. No one can get into it. And then we put it into the, the box. box to ship. Just got to pop that in the mailbox, and we're going to find out all kinds of stuff about Virginia. So, Virginia, don't go so fast with the DNA. Well, I can't catch up with you. Come on, let's go. Here's the DNA. That is over there. Let's just go. Just tuck in that third end cars. Okay. Good luck. I didn't actually kiss it. Here we go. You guys have fun to dance. No. Bye. Enjoy. See you later. Virginia and I have spent the last half an hour answering a billion questions on 23 and DNA. There's a lot of questions on there, and most of them don't apply to an 11 year old. What? Go figure. She's like, there's no option for pre menopausal. It's just like, are you regular, not regular, or no longer having periods? And she's like, and it's like, how many kids have you had? None. Are you trying to have kids? No. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's been interesting. Actually, I don't know. It's going to be a fun science experiment to learn about our DNA and to see what kind of health things she has. I don't know. I'm super curious. I wish we could uh, do it for all the kids. Except for maybe that one weird one over there. Maybe not him. later only three weeks I think total maybe even less than that they when they first received the kit said that we probably wouldn't get our results until January 9th but today is December 30th and we got the results actually yesterday so t December 29th we got the results so I'm gonna share the the res interesting parts of the results with with Virginia We'll talk about what the things we were going to test for and whether or not they test positive and that kind of thing. So first thing we'll start with is her genetic background. You are 100% Eastern European with 52.1% being British and Irish, 21.8% being French and German, and 11.4% being Scandinavian. So you're pure English white chick, <laughs> which that's kind of what we expected because that's basically Dave and I knew what our ancestry is because we've looked at our family tr tree and our family chart and we can kind of go back generations upon generations. Um, it might be interesting to do Ronnie's and see what her genetics show us. Um, there's a lot of relatives on here because there's like someone that that says second cousins with her but she was born like in 1957 which is like when my parents were born. So I don't know exactly how that works but I guess it depends on like how much DNA you share. The person that's closest in DNA is 4.34% shared. They don't have their name listed or anything. It just says it's a female 1957. So no excitement there from the relationships just it's just curious to see like traits we will start with the the funny ones about a 50 50 per, 50 50 chance of being able to match a musical pitch how good at you how good are you at that you are 100 percent good at that you are just like me you have perfect pitch you can just hear a note, you can match it. You have inherited that. It comes through our generations. You are not the first generation to have that ability. This one made me laugh. 
you're less likely than average to have had a bunion. Is that one true? You don't have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, in fact, she has what we believe to be genetically inherited bunions, which makes me laugh about the DNA, because your DNA says you're less likely to have one. You just must be the one random anomaly of the DNA people to get them. So that stinks. Sorry. Likely no dimples. Now, she doesn't have deep ones like me, but she does have a teensy, tiny kind of little one right there. I'd say it's pretty accurate um, because I consider dimples these big, deep dimples, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. <laughs> Do you like cilantro? I love cilantro. No. You don't like it? No. <laughs> Likely no cleft chin, which I thought was weird because dad has a cleft chin. You kind of have a bump in your chin, so do I, but it's not technically cleft like a dimple. Um, yours is a little bit more cleft because of the scar when she got hit in her face. I don't know if we've ever mentioned that to you guys. Probably not. When she was six, she got hit in the face with a golf club by her lovely brother Sullivan and split open her chin. I and it. an amazing, amazing um, surgeon fixed it so you can barely yeah. tell it's there. So I'm it kind of makes her look like she has a cleft, but I think this is right that you do not have a cleft chin. And you would think, since your DNA comes partly from dad, that it would least be in your DNA that you might have it. You are more likely to get dandruff. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. That one is true. You likely have detached earlobes. Yes, you do. You likely have brown or hazel eyes. Yes, she has brown eyes. You are less likely than average to be afraid of heights. I don't know. We haven't really tested your fear of real heights before. If I'm strapped to something, not as much. So like in a roller coaster, yeah. you're not as afraid. More likely to have a fear of public speaking. <laughs> yep. But come on. Isn't everyone definitely afraid of public speaking? I think that one's a cop-out. But she is a lot more shy when it comes to performing. She definitely doesn't like singing in front of people, which is too bad, considering she has perfect pitch. Go figure. You likely have a lot of freckles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're more than likely to experience hair photo bleaching. Like when your hair gets lighter in the summertime with the sun? Uh -huh. yeah. Yep. Your hair is likely straight or wavy. Straight. It's, wavy it's mostly straight with a tiny like right bit. Now, right now it is because I swim. Yeah, well, you went, yeah, you went swimming last night in the freezing cold, crazy people. <laughs> that video won't be out for, like, three more weeks. Because <laughs> this one is being filmed and put up today. Um, you're likely bitten more often than others when it comes to mosquitoes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> more likely to experience motion sickness. In the car. Yeah. I, I get that too. When you were a newborn, you were likely had very little baby hair. So like when you were born, you had some brown hair, but it fell out right away and you had very fine blonde hair. You basically looked bald. So yeah, that one's accurate. You're more likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla ice cream. Yeah. It says you're likely to have light hair, which is weird because you're the only one who does. Likely prefers salty or sweet. Salty. Likely a little unibrow. <laughs> what? You know, not really. I mean, she she has about the same as me, and I do have to pluck a few hairs ha hairs here and there, but I would say not really a unibrow. I, I mean, there are hairs there, but they're not like unibrow. <laughs> but it's a likely a little unibrow, so I don't know. The most likely time you are apt to wake up in the mornings, 8.53 a.m. Yeah. You're going to have to pay really close yes. attention. Really? 8.53? Yeah. Yeah. Like when close you're up, you're lucky you're allowed to sleep that long because most humans don't get to. 
And you don't have a widow's peak, which is your hair would be pointed right there and you don't have that. So that's mostly right. Okay, so now for the big one. Does she have the celiac gene? <laughs> Does she have the celiac DNA tra trait? I think that's what it is. She does not have the celiac gene. Part of me like is happy about that because it means you definitely aren't going to have like um, issues with your intestines and things that come with celiac disease. But also part of me is just kind of like, ugh. Because that, well, it's just easier when you tell people that you have celiac disease. They understand that you just literally cannot have wheat. When you say that you have like a sensitivity or an allergy to wheat, people don't really take it super seriously, but when you say you have celiac disease... So I just didn't say anything. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like she has literally all the symptoms of celiac disease. There's literally not a single symptom. Maybe I started it. Started what? Having it? Well, you can't get it. That's the thing. If, <laughs> if, if, if it says, if your DNA says you don't have the gene, you can literally not have celiac disease, but you have every symptom. But it does say that it doesn't test for other wheat, um, you know, conditions. It's just this specific one. So it's just not this. You do have all the symptoms of that, and you do have the same problems as a person who's celiac. You just don't have celiac. Which also means probably the rest of us don't have it. Probably that doesn't explain all of our anxiety and depression. And that sucks because it doesn't give us any answers, and we're basically back to square one. But good news, the good news is out of all of the things that this tests for, including several cancers and um, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, which are all very scary, you have no genetic variants detected. The only one it flagged, the only thing it gave you a flag for is it says a variant is detected on one side of your family, but you're not likely at a decrease at an increased risk for age-related macular degeneration. You had a variant detested on one side of your family. And guess what, guys? My grandfather had age-related macular degeneration. So, through my side of the family, it may have picked up that variant, but dad's side didn't have it, so it doesn't guarantee that you'll have it. Oh, it said, so let's look at this one. This one's funny. If you drink alcohol, you're less likely than other people to have red flushed face when you drink. What? <laughs> like I would. <laughs> well, you're less likely, well, you're likely to consume less caffeine than most people. You're just less likely to choose to drink more of it. This one made me laugh. You're less likely to be a deep sleeper. I disagree with that one. But you're going to like this one. Hope this one's right. You're predisposed to weigh less than average. Yeah! I would take it! You're predisposed to be thin! It says you're likely lactose tolerant and you should be able to consume dairy products. But they did seem to make you sick, so it probably doesn't it doesn't isn't the same as an allergy, so that's just lactose. Where the thing you seem to have problems with is the actual milk protein, so that's not. not. Um, you will probably be a similar weight no matter how much saturated fat you eat. So if you chose to go keto, you'd be set. You're likely to move a lot when you sleep. I do. Like, I like to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right and my favorite one. Your muscle composition is the same kind of muscle composition they find in Olympic athletes. And the kind of muscle comp composition you have can be the difference between a gold and silver medal in the Olympics. It's high twitch fibers. So you're more likely to be successful at things that require a quick burst of energy versus, say, a long distance endurance. And so if you use it, 
<laughs> right? You can be a better sprinter, better dancer, better jumper, better lots of things because of the way your muscles work. That is cool. It's based on the ACTN3 gene. Yeah. Anyway, they're saying most distance runners don't produce this um, alpha actin in three that's found in fast twitch mu muscle fibers. So you're not likely to be very good at long distance activities. But you can kill it on the sprints. Woo! I wonder if that means all of us have that. Very interesting. I would really like to know what Ronnie's is made up of. I would really like to know if she's know. more endurance. I you probably find out who her mom is. Mm, I, you, you, I don't think we could find out anything because that person should would be, have to be in the system. Oh. But you never know. There could be adopted relatives in the States who've done it. So it makes me nervous to do that, but that's probably going to be the next one on my list. Though I really want to do it myself. Because I'd really love to see my health no, profile. Ronnie but Ronnie should probably be next. It's just so expensive. So we'll see what we can save up enough money for the next one. But that was really fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed doing this little science day with us. It definitely opened our eyes to possibilities. And it made me feel better about the celiac disease. Because I, I kind of regretted not having you tested before we took you off wheat. And now I don't need to worry about it because we know that's not it. So we can just go back to our elimination diets and try and figure out just what you eat that makes you feel better. Also, there is this place I can pay $10 to and send in your results and they'll give me an even more detailed information about the best diet plans and the best things like that for your, pers your personal self. But I'm guessing keto is well in your future with the saturated fat recommendation and the fact that you have such trouble with gluten and gluten tolerance and things like that. I think eating ketogenically or at least a diet that's based more on fat than on carbohydrates is probably better for you in the future. Not right now, but someday. Might want to keep that in mind. Dang it. Hey, it's not that bad. I love it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. Comment if you can. Subscribe. And seek your truth. Bye, Seekers. Find us later. Find us later.